Hello everybody and welcome to a new Space Engineers video. Today I'm going to be going over three key points in shipbuilding, how to go about them, and the benefits they'll provide to your builds. These are by no means all of the points you need to consider when building a ship, but they will contribute a large amount to the visual quality of the end result. Obviously how good a ship looks is extremely subjective, but I think most people can agree on what looks good and what doesn't. If you have any thoughts, please share below, and please keep in mind that this is just my opinion and not solid facts. Hope you enjoy the video guys, and take care. The shape of your ship has a massive effect on how much you can do in terms of structure on the ship, such as bridges, engine bays, or hangars. An easy way to come up with shapes for your ships is to simply seek inspiration on the workshop, sci-fi media, or just Google images. Once you have an idea, it usually helps to build the frame before starting work on the ship. This will give you a much better insight into placements for your internal systems. However, if you wish to place the systems first, you can still build up the shape of your vessel from there as well. Keep in mind that in space, the dimensions don't really matter. There's no reason a ship can't be as tall as it is long from an engineering perspective. So have a play around with these ideas, as they usually turn out very interesting and surprisingly practical. This one I feel is often massively overlooked by new players or shipbuilders. I know myself that when I started playing, all my ships were the same boring white. You'd be amazed by what a good lick of paint can do for a ship in terms of its aesthetics. Ideally, you want to go with a primary colour and an accent colour to differentiate some of the ship's external features like stripes on the hull or greeble. Then maybe a different colour for the ship's internal systems. This keeps everything separated nicely and gives it a clean look. Different colours also come with different meanings, for instance yellow and orange look good on industrial ships, but this varies greatly. You also have a wide variety of different textures you can apply to the ships now. Definitely have a play around with these and find ones that work with your style. Greeble is basically taking a large flat surface and breaking it up, making it seem more complex. You get this all the time in Space Engineers. You've probably seen creations using ground down blocks for example, which offer no benefits apart from visual aesthetics. When greebling, try to add realistic things such as vents, antennas and walkways. These usually end up looking the best. Ground down catwalk blocks and pillars are some of the best blocks to use. Avoid just throwing random ground down blocks all over your ship. This can make it look unfinished or overcomplicated. Remember, less is more, and it's where you place the greeble that really makes the difference. For this next segment I've asked four well-known shipbuilders to give some brief tips to help you with your designs. Starbound is well known on the workshop. His building style features stunning interiors, excellent greeble and colour schemes. His tips for building good looking ships are Break up the shape Don't spam angles, it does not equal greeble. Functional blocks can be great for greeble and blast doors are very good for it as well. Reaver is a relatively new player in the shipbuilding scene. However, he has a large following and regularly posts ships. Reaver builds ships that fit with the vanilla game very well. His tips for shipbuilding are Avoid using colours that clash when deciding on your palette, e.g. yellow and purple. Greeble and skin application can make or break a ship's aesthetic. Visualise the shape of the ship in your head while you're building. Yoshi mainly builds rovers, however he has published some ships too and the principles are the same. His tips are as follows. Stay consistent with building styles within factions. Always have redundant core systems. And improve on existing designs if you can. Aragath is a developer at Keen. He built most of the economy ships and vessels in the various campaigns. He also has some stunning workshop creations and his style fits the game perfectly. His tips are Refrain from using too many colours, preferably stick to three. Don't go overboard with the shape, same as the colour, pick three main shapes for the ship. Always include greeble and detailing. Hello guys, thank you so much for watching this video, this took me quite a long time to make, so I'd appreciate if you liked and subscribed, 
I'll be making more content like this in the future, so, and it would help me out a massive amount. And a massive, massive thanks to Aragath, Lieutenant Starbound, Reaver, and Yoshi. There are four amazing shipbuilders that I asked, and they very politely gave me some good ship tips for you guys, because if otherwise it would just be me, you know, I'm not... I'm not that big a name in the shipbuilding scene, um, but Starbound, Aragath, Yoshi and Reva definitely are. And I don't mean to be that guy, but if you do want to support me, you can head over to Patreon. I have a Patreon page where I post early updates on the videos and just, you know, general cool stuff for just the Patreons. So if you want to support the channel, um, please go over there, you'll get a special rank in the Discord server and you'd help me out massively. Well thanks for watching guys, and take care, everybody. Sometimes I swear